Time to pull out these Simones. I've already got this one in here soaking. It's looking nice. So let's put these two in. I'll show you what I do. Got these two knives here. Make sure they're... <laughs> I had them fall off a few times, so I want to make sure. Oh, just in case I didn't say it. How's it going? Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, let's get the second one in there. Then what I do is I take some steel wool. Got my little piece of steel wool that I used for the first one. Pull them out. Make sure it's in there real good. Wipe them down. Woo, look at that hamon pop. Let them soak a little bit. Wipe this one down. I say this every time, but it's 50% 50, 50 water to 50% ferric, and then I add some vinegar on top. That really makes it pop. But you gotta clean it off and go put it in baking soda quick where it starts rusting. So, uh, let me pull this one out. And we'll put it in baking soda. And, uh, I'll be back. Soak them in baking soda. And now we just put them down. And, uh, we got penetrating oil, like, uh, PB Blaster. I think I got this stuff in my links, my Amazon links down below, but... Yeah, I use that stuff on everything after that because that vinegar will really eat it up. So, penetrating really soaks in and helps it out. But man, those hormones came out real nice. So, uh, I'm gonna let it soak five minutes and I'll meet you over at the stone washer. Yeah, man. Ha <laughs> ha. So, I put some Windex in here. Sometimes I'll put some uh, WD 40, but I don't think it needs it this time. I got everything else on there. So, let's throw these bad boys in there. As you can see, I soaked them again in penetrating oil, but man, I hope you can see those stone washers because they came out real nice. <laughs> yeah, man. You can see it soaking in penetrating oil and all that, but man, the hormones are in there awesome. Yeah. So now we just got to get to the buffing wheel and uh, I'll show you what I do to make it mine. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone else do it. So don't be stealing my ideas. <laughs> did a buffy wheel. All right, we already did this one for Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I love the mirror on the bottom. That's why I go to a mirror finish. No hand sanding either. <laughs> See, all dark. The hormones there. We're just gonna make it mirror. <laughs> with stone wash on the back. Here we go. Next one, get the washer on there, get her all locked up. Yeehaw! Man, this makes it so much easier. <laughs> and these wheels, I ruin them, because the best way to make the hormone pop out is put some oil on it and you'll see it come out more. You kind of shine it in the light, like I can see it right here. But if I put oil on it, it'll really come out. Put a little bit of oil on it. Hit it in the light, yeah, it really makes it pop.
Alright, let's go see how they look on their knives. <laughs> I went ahead and sandblasted these. And I figured when I put the quarter inch uh, pivot in here and the clamp on the back, it holds this flat. So I can do all that. I already did this one for Instagram. <laughs> yeah, man. Woo! Now I was thinking, I, I ordered some detents, some ceramic detents, and I'm gonna do it like Ink of Knives shows so I can wear this in and see how it works because I don't feel confident because this uh, screw will probably wear after time. Also, since we're working with like titanium, I got my shaded glasses. I still need to see, but the shade it. We got a 120 on here. Let's do it. I can do uh, with them apart. I just had to get that flat. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll come back on Scotch Bright because it's gonna be the same thing over and over. I'm gonna hit the flats and then, uh, yeah, kind of smooth them out and round them off and all that good stuff. And then uh, we'll see where we're at. I'll be back. We got our Scotch Bright on there. I just put it on the A65 silicone carbide. Since I have them laying around, I might as well use them. <laughs> Man, I don't like the smell of those things and taste, so I'm putting my thing back on, but we're just refining it and uh, putting it back together. All right, I'm just gonna hold it like that, and then we'll put the clamp on it after I do the flats. That's one thing about Scotch Bright. If there's any imperfection, like right there, I missed the spot. It'll really bring it out. I gotta go back down and get that little spot right there. But other than that, boom. Let's put her together and see what she looks like. I've made an important decision about this knife. I'm gonna tear it apart and uh, use this thing as the pocket clip for this one, for this knife. Cause even the detent on this one, the screw won't stay in, it keeps coming loose. I'll tighten it up and then put it down and. There's just nothing to it. So <laughs> I've had all kinds of problems with it. Let, let me show you. I figured out now why they put the groove on the outside instead of the inside. I had this lock bar at a good point, but then what I just did to it made it really weak. 
I took off too much just to smooth it out. So there's one reason you don't put the groove on the inside because then when you clean it up, you take more off of it. But yeah, so that's one problem. It started out, I made this left-handed instead of right-handed because I made that hole there on the wrong side. <clears throat> then of course I put what I just showed you on the inside. And then remember, if you follow my last vlogs, which I'll put up here in the cards, this is the second blade I've made for it because uh, the lockup went too far and all that stuff. And man, now this just won't hold. And, and the detent, I screw the detent in. Watch, let's see if it'll work. Now that I'm on camera, it won't work. But uh, make it so it just locks up just enough. So, yeah, see? I just had it tight and now it's loose. So that screw's not sticking at all either. So I must have made that too deep too. It's going to become a pocket clip. <laughs> I'll film it tonight, but that'll be on the next video. I think I'm calling it there. Make sure to like, comment, you know, leave me some comments. What would you do? Would you make it a pocket clip or would you keep fighting the good fight? Sometimes you just gotta call defeat and know when you're beat. Oh, that's another thing I put that thing in there and made it bigger and all that good stuff whoo man yeah sometimes we just gotta lick our wounds and start over the other thing is now that i got the detents uh ceramic detents i can use this hardened blade if you watch the ecom nice thing where he sets the detent not all it's lost it did come out with a pretty cool pattern so like i said comment let me know what you think so let's see i'll put a uh, Grinding every type of bevel. If you want to know about compound grinds, flat grinds, hollow grinds, all that stuff, it's all in this playlist right here. I'll put the past vlogs right here. My subscribe button is right here. My website with all my shirts, knives, and all that good stuff is right here. Hope you all are having a great day, and as always, take it easy.